Welcome back to my channel and a very special welcome if you're new here. My name is Jen. I'm a certified weight loss and nutrition coach. And today, today I'm answering one of the most frequent questions I get as a weight loss and nutrition coach. And that is how much protein should I be consuming per meal? And can you eat too much protein per meal? And what are the detriments of that on the body? So today, we're gonna talk all about it. So if you're excited, give this video a big thumbs up, subscribe if you're not, turn your bell on because I upload new videos every Tuesday and Thursday. Down in the description box, you will find nutrition coaching. I highly, highly recommend those personalized macros and calories. That is what I follow to lose and maintain my 140 pound weight loss, as well as one-on-one -on -one coaching for questions, accountability, or to talk with me directly. Links and discounts to my favorite healthy things are also down in that description box. So let's talk about how much protein is too much protein per meal. So let's first talk about what is protein. Protein is actually one of the three macronutrients. The three macronutrients are protein, fats, and carbohydrates. All of your meals should contain all three macronutrients. They should have a fat, they should have a protein, they should have a carbohydrate. Protein out of those three is the most important for weight loss. It's the most important for so many reasons. It keeps you full, it helps boost your metabolism. I get asked all the time, how do I boost my metabolism? Eat enough calories and eat enough protein. Protein supports muscle growth and it just helps you maintain your overall health. Everybody's protein needs are different. Your protein need is different than my protein need. And the only way to know how much protein you should be consuming every day, especially for weight loss. If you're trying to lose weight, you have got to consume enough protein. And the only way to know how much you should be consuming is to have your personalized macros, protein, fats, and carbs, as well as your calorie goal to be in a calorie deficit done by a weight loss and nutrition coach like myself. This is a service that I offer. It's a very, very small investment and it changes your life. I lost 90 pounds in one year just tracking calories and protein and since have lost and maintained a 140 pound weight loss for over two years. So I will link my nutrition coaching website. That is where you can order your personalized macros and calories and one-on-one -on -one coaching if you wanna talk with me directly. Do not put your information in online calorie calculators. You're going to get five different answers from five different calculators. They are not accurate. Invest a little bit in yourself to know your personalized macros and calories and your personalized protein goal. The question is, can you eat too much protein in a day and what is the most protein that your body can actually absorb per meal? It is recommended to limit your amount of protein per meal to 30 grams. Anything above 30, 35 grams of protein per meal, your body is just going to discard that extra protein in the form of waste. It's not actually going to absorb that. Our body can only absorb so much protein per meal. And again, it's recommended to be right around that 30 to 35 grams per meal. Unlike carbs or fats, which your body can store for energy, protein doesn't have the same storage system. Once your body takes what it needs, any excess is typically excreted through urine. Protein is never stored and is never meant to be used for immediate energy. Your carbohydrates that you eat, that's what your body reaches for, for immediate energy. Actually, sustain energy throughout the day. That's why you've got to have carbohydrates with every single meal. Now, if you eat more than 30 grams of protein in a meal, you're not going to gain weight. It's just not as useful as being within that 30 to 35 grams. Some of this extra protein you consume is still going to support muscle growth. It's still going to help boost your metabolism. It's still going to help with your overall health. It's just not as effective as the 30 grams. Now, if you're looking to build muscle, you're in the gym, you're lifting weights, you want to build lean muscle, you want to focus again on that 30 to 35 grams, even up to 40 grams of per meal when you're really trying to build muscle because protein accelerates muscle growth. And you wanna spread that across say four meals per day. And higher protein intake is recommended for people trying to build muscle. Again, that's why you should have your personalized macros done so you know based on your exercise, your health goals, your weight loss goals, what's the protein you should consume every day. And I actually break it down by meal when I do your macros. So are there risks to eating too much protein? Of course there's risks. There's risks to eating more protein than your body can actually absorb. One of those things is kidney strain. While carbs can be stored as glycogen for quick energy during intense activity, protein doesn't work the same way. Regularly consuming excess protein can put undue strain on your kidneys, making it inefficient and potentially harmful in the long run. When we consume protein in excess, this adds more work for the kidneys to filter this through the body in order for the protein to not build up 
within the protein. It can also cause weight gain. Eating more protein than your body needs can also lead to weight gain. The human body will store any excess calories as fat. In other words, if eating a high protein diet increases your daily caloric intake to the point where it's higher than your daily caloric output, you will gain fat as a result. And lastly, digestive issues. Consuming excess protein, especially from certain sources like red meat, can lead to digestive issues such as constipation, or bloating. So first, let's talk a little bit about kidney strain. If you don't have an underlying health issue relating to your kidneys, this is really unlikely to happen. I mean, you would have to be way in excess of protein, like 100 grams, 200 grams a day, more than what your body can process. So I don't want you to panic thinking, oh my God, I'm damaging my kidneys eating too much protein. It's very unlikely unless you, again, have underlying kidney issues. And of course, before you consume a high protein diet, you would want to have a conversation with your doctor. And as far as weight gain, this is absolutely true. If you're not in a deficit, you're not going to lose weight. If you're in a calorie surplus, even if it's by protein, you're going to gain weight. So anything in excess can lead to excess weight gain. Protein, carbs, fats, just excess calories in general. And digestive issues. The biggest one that I notice when, especially even when I switch to a higher protein diet is constipation. And I just balance that out with fiber. Just making sure that you have enough fiber in your diet. I personally take a fiber supplement. It's actually in my coffee. This is actually a protein coffee. And there's a Quest protein shake in here and two scoops of Just Better Fiber. I love Just Better Fiber. It keeps things, keeps things moving. I will link it down below with a discount for you. It is the best fiber supplement. No additives, no fillers. It's amazing. So I put two scoops in my coffee every morning and that keeps that constipation issue at bay for me. And I definitely consume a high protein diet. So you just have to balance that out with fiber. So like I said, to know how much protein you should be eating every day, you need to have your personalized protein goal done because every body is different. So every body needs a different amount of protein every single day. I will tell you that no woman, even a sedentary woman, should eat less than 100 grams of protein a day. So if you're under 100 grams, you're definitely doing your body a disservice. And again, I recommend having your macros done. It's linked at the top of the description box. Now, what are some of the best sources of protein? Lean meat, fish, nuts and nut butters, seeds, non-processed soy products, and protein powders. Those are going to be the best way to get in protein. Protein supplements are a fantastic way to reach your protein goal, but you should limit those to one to two every day. They're called supplements for a reason. They should supplement your diet, not make up all of the protein you're consuming during the day. So like I mentioned, I have a protein shake in here. That is a protein supplement. I will have a second supplement at some point today, whether that's a protein bar, protein powder, another protein shake. I limit myself to two per day. If you have a lower protein goal, I would limit yourself to one. I can walk you through all of that as part of your macros and calories. Now you're probably wondering what are some great sources of protein powders? Now I have two favorite protein powders that are whey based. Number one is Clean Simple Eats. That's my go-to protein powder. I have it literally every single day. It tastes amazing. It has, gra it has grass fed whey protein. It's sweetened with xylitol, which is one of the best sweetener alternatives out there. In my opinion, it's hands down the best tasting. Second to that would be Devotion. Devotion is amazing and it's amazing amazing to bake with. So if you're someone that likes to cook or bake with protein powder, Devotion is the way to go. And if you're plant-based, I would recommend Orgain. Now I do have discount codes to all three of these protein powders. I'll link them for you. And I also have that discount for Just Better Fiber. I will link that as well. You should always reach for real whole food to get in the majority of your protein. That's why I recommend only one to two protein supplements daily. So let's reiterate and recap kind of what's important to know about how much is too much when it comes to protein. So again, limit your meals and snacks to 30 to 35 grams of protein per meal or snack. Now, if you have four or five, six meals a day, you'll easily be able to reach your protein goal, even sticking around that 30 grams or so per meal or snack. If you're going to up your protein and you have underlying kidney or health issues, please have a conversation with your doctor. In fact, you should be having a conversation with your doctor before embarking on any weight loss or health journey. And remember how important protein is for weight loss and just overall health. It keeps you full and satisfied, boosts your metabolism. If you wanna boost your metabolism and lose weight, eat protein, that's gonna do it for you. Like I said, I lost 90 pounds in one year simply tracking calories and protein. I promise it works. Those personalized macros and calories that I do will change your life. And implementing great supplements like Clean Simple Eats, Devotion, Orgain, Just Better Fiber to help regulate your body while eating higher protein, all of that is so essential for just a healthy 
overall body and on a healthy weight loss journey. So again, I will link everything down below for you. Invest the little tiny bit in yourself and have your macros and calories done. It is an investment. I promise that will change your life. Promise, promise. I have so many coaching clients that have lost over a hundred pounds. I've had people lose and maintain their weight loss for years following their macros and calories. It really is life changing. And like I said, it's such a small investment in yourself. So everything I talked about today will be at the top of the description box. 30 grams or so of protein per meal is recommended. Let me know down below what are some of your favorite ways to get in protein. And if you enjoyed today's video, give it a thumbs up, subscribe, because again, I upload new videos every Tuesday and Thursday. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time.